Hello and welcome to day 22 of our October Pilates challenge. Go ahead and grab your mat or towel and let's begin in a seated position. Draw the feet in line with the hips with nice soft knees, hands going behind the knees so you can be supportive with those arms, and starting to wake up the spine, lengthening from tailbone to head, reaching across the body. And then inhale as you begin rounding through the spine, flexing the spine, creating lift and length into that lower back. And then exhale as you grow long and tall. And inhale as you round it back, widening through the shoulders. And then exhale up long and tall. And inhale as you round it back and exhale up long and tall and one more time like that inhale as you round it back and exhale up long and tall now taking those hands behind you fingers pointing in the same direction as those toes keeping the elbows soft lift the chest up to the skies starting to find a stretch across the chest and through the armpits scooping the abs and the ribs in allow the knees to twist to your right side keeping the ribs centered and then knees go up and over to your left side and let's breathe through a few repetitions of that inhale to the right and then exhale to the left keeping that lift across the chest and inhale right and exhale left and let's do one more full set inhale right and exhale left and then bringing that back to center i'm going to walk the hands up drawing the ankles and the knees together feeling the inner thighs reaching those arms forward using your core muscles to lift up and out of those hips and let's roll those shoulders back for three and two and one and then reversing that for three and two and one lengthening through the torso and then round back one vertebrae at a time rolling through the spine all the way back to the floor pause here take your hands behind your head and use your arms here not neck muscles to curl the head all the way up Drawing the chin into the chest, getting some stretch and length across the back of the neck and down the shoulders. And then slowly releasing the head back down, reaching outward slightly as you gain a little more length in the neck. Adjust those feet so that feels comfortable for the knees and hips. And let's float those arms up to the ceiling, reaching out of those shoulders. Inhale that right shoulder off the floor, peeling the shoulder up. And then exhale, release the shoulder down. Inhale through that left arm and exhale as you release inhale right and exhale release and inhale left and exhale release let's do one more full set inhale right and exhale release and inhale left and exhale release from there going around the arms and the fingers point towards each other begin finding your lats as you slide those shoulders down the back Drawing the chin down, abs and ribs pulled in. And then inhale those arms wide, starting to expand across the chest. Exhale one arm over the other into a hug. And inhale as you open wide. And exhale as you switch the other arm on top. Inhale wide, expanding across the sternum. And exhale cross. And inhale wide, keeping those ribs drawn together. And exhale cross. And one more full set and exhale and inhale wide and exhale good hands float back up to the ceiling scoop the core in and let's hug the knees into your chest allowing your lower back just to relax into the floor for a moment and then feeling those core muscles belly button scooping in and ribs drawn together so you feel that hug around the waistline that beautiful support from your core hands go to those knees and gently circle those knees around and massage the lower back out three and two and one and then reversing that for three and two and one bringing those legs into your tabletop arms relaxed by your sides encouraging this openness in the shoulders and the chest inner thighs abs ribs shoulders and now going into our low back stretch inhale both knees to your right side keeping them glued together and then exhale the knees to center 
inhale those knees to your left side and exhale to center. Inhale to the right and exhale to center. Feeling that breath through the waistline. Inhale left and exhale to center. Belly button to spine. Inhale right and exhale to center. And inhale left and exhale to center. Good. Send your left leg down the floor, lengthening across that hip as you hug the right knee in close to you. And you can hold on above the knee or behind it, whatever feels better for your body. Taking a moment to create some compression across the front of that hip. And then think of easing some space into the back of the pelvis. So reaching your right sit bone down the floor, keeping that length. Feeling out the hip flexor maybe a little bit or maybe feeling out some talkative qualities around the lower back. And just allowing a little ease here, a little hug in those, that space so those muscles can let go. And then keeping the leg here, focusing not necessarily on going straight, but engaging the muscles around the knees. Right? So think about engaging the muscles around the knee as you work the leg long and then release down. Yes, a little hamstring on that for sure. And working the leg long and release down. Going with a sense of ease on that one more time. Working long and release down. And then using your right hand, draw that leg out to the side, turning the leg out so we can get some inner thigh stretch here. And taking a moment to really hold the weight of that leg allowing the hip socket to relax. Still reaching the sit bones along the floor, pulling the core in so you're supporting that back. And then hand goes behind the knee, that same kind of concept, but again, turning the leg out. And let's work through that knee and release. So try to rotate the knee towards the floor and lengthen and release. Again, doesn't have to go all the way to straight, right? We're going for a sense of stretch around the kneecap and release. Now take that left hand to the right knee, internally rotating that thigh so you can bring the thigh across your torso towards your left shoulder. Hip stays on the floor though, so this is not twisting the torso. The torso stays nice and square and aligned. So we're working the hip socket. And then again, working the muscles around the kneecap, lengthening through that knee, and release and reach and release and one more time reach and release and then letting go circling that knee around for three and two and one and then reversing that for three and two and one and then sending that leg down the mat reaching outwards to that hip socket and then let's hug the left knee in so we can switch sides. Taking a moment to relax around the hip first and feeling that reach through the back, right? So you're lengthening the left sit bone down the floor, breathing into that hip, and then engaging the muscles around the kneecap as you work long and release. Again, no force on that and working long and release. And one more time, working long and release. And then turning that leg out, let's bring the knee to the side so we gain a little inner thigh length, keeping the pelvis stable and looking up towards the ceiling. So you can feel that evenness across the hips, breathing into that inner thigh, seeing what's going on in those muscles. Hand goes behind the knee, try to keep that turn out, right? So knee is trying to reach towards the floor as you extend the leg and release and extend and release and one more time and extend and release and now internally rotate so we're drawing that knee towards your right shoulder keeping the hip on the floor but working through the thigh and this might bring up some fun sensations around the outside of the hip or even on the inside crease Right, depending on what's going on within the hip and the alignment of all of that. All right, hand goes underneath that knee. And here we go, engaging the muscles around the knee as you work long and release. And it might get a little shaky, and that's okay. And working long and release. And one more.
more time working long and release good and then relaxing through that and let's go ahead and circle that knee around within the socket three and two and one and then reversing that for three and two and one send that leg all the way down nice and long so you feel that stretch across the hip sockets reach to the arms lengthen across the room feeling that stretch and then relax wiggle the fingers and the toes and let's go ahead and circle those wrists and the ankles for three and two and one and then reverse that three and two and one beautiful gently drawing the knees in towards you bringing the legs together so being uh, gentle on the position hands behind the knees and then just rock forward and back a few times massaging out the spine feeling that nice round across the lower back and incorporating the breath opening through the chest widening through the shoulders let's go for five and four three and three and two scooping the belly in this last time come up to sit and then relax fantastic so a quick little flush of the system making sure that the shoulders and the hips and the lower back all have a little bit more space so that you can go into the rest of your day with ease if you don't want to do any other additional stretches or exercises now you're welcome to otherwise great job and i'll see you tomorrow